Hey, Patrick Kelly, uh, Distinguished Architect here at Zoom. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about the, the coexistence model when it comes to, to Microsoft and Zoom and how do these, these two uh, enterprises work together? Uh, more importantly, the, the Teams integration and, and coexistence model that we have in, in the Zoom and Microsoft Teams uh, environment. Uh, one of the things that we, we do, uh, we developed here at Zoom is the Zoom app uh, that plugs into Microsoft Teams. You can download it from the app marketplace and, and Microsoft, it's right here. You literally just go to, to apps and, and click on uh, apps and then you can search for, shockingly, Zoom, right? Zoom pops up and, and you can, Download Zoom. And what happens is when you download this app, it's going to plug a, um, a Zoom icon on your left nav bar. So your left nav bar, you're going to see a Zoom icon. And when you go to the Zoom icon, if you're familiar with this, you're going to see some uh, pieces of the, of the application that allow you to, to have uh, chats within the application itself. So you can uh, type in help commands and start commands and join commands right from the chat itself. You can also utilize meetings, obviously. Meetings is a, obviously a, a, one of the primary reasons we developed this. So when, if you're focused inside of Teams and you want to start a Zoom meeting, you can do it right here. Hitting the start button, start a meeting button. You can schedule a meeting. You can share your screen all without leaving the context of Teams. Uh, and then finally, there's also a phone icon. Obviously, that phone, phone icon is exactly what it's supposed to be, is a, is a way to make outbound PSTN calls utilizing the Zoom phone application. So you can see that built into my, my Zoom phone uh, tab, I can have call history, I can have obviously who I called, call duration, outbound versus inbound, and when those calls took place, I can also have voicemail. Voicemail is is speech to text and I and I could play it I could play my Zoom voicemail right within the lens of Teams. I could also make a callback uh, to the person that left that voicemail. There's also speech to text transcription. Watch this. This is Patrick. I'm calling myself to test the voicemail yeah, so I can play my voicemail right over my speakers inside of Teams without ever having to leave Teams. Well, some of our customers sometimes want just to utilize the Zoom phone component. They might use Teams or another uh, application for their meetings, but they want to take the take on the power of Zoom phone. What we did was we, we, we made a special application for those customers. And what this special application does is it takes the meetings tab out. So if you're using Teams or Ring Central or WebEx, or whatever for meetings. I don't know why you're not using Zoom, but we'll talk about that another time. But what if you're just utilizing the power of Zoom phone and you want to have that in Teams? Well, we have a special application that we can we, we developed for that reason alone. And, and I have it installed. Uh, and right here it says Zoom phone. Watch what happens. Keep your eye on this meetings tab. If I go to Zoom phone, Look at that. It removed the chat and it removed the meetings tab. I can only do Zoom phone stuff on here. So I could do my outbound calls, check my voicemail, voicemail, uh, speech to text transcription, call durations, all that stuff that I had in the phone tab in the previous that uh, GA Zoom um, app is now available in the Zoom phone app uh, alone. So that's some, something powerful we can do uh, for our customers that need maybe a little bit more customization in, in their area.